And this came to you, and, and again, you said you actually spoke on one of our, our speakeasy stages. I remember that. But that acronym there, what are you going to do with it now? Uh, well, after your, when I spoke at the speakeasy, everybody's like, you need to make a whole thing out of this because this is huge. This is, you know, I had sales guys come up to me and are like, I've been in the business forever. I never even heard of that. I'm like, how could you have? I made it up last week. You know what I mean? Because it's like, <laughs> This is I'm because you don't think about little things like you know getting past no right that's basically what I'm calling it out getting past no everybody's thinking no and you know because objections yes but you still have if people don't make a decision that just means we haven't educated them enough on why they should what which way they should make a decision right and whether you use closes whatever that is and so basically what we're going to do with this is. Um, I think it's going to be my second book. My first book is Building pers uh, Building Personal Wealth Through Home Ownership. And so this is going to be a course, a bunch of different stuff that we're going to do, which I didn't even think about until after I spoke at your stage. I didn't do amazing on your stage because it had been 15 years since I've been on stage, but I did okay. The, the one thing that resonated with me was that there's a lot of people that look at salesmanship as, as the close you know, them getting that way, them getting the contract, them getting the checkbook, and they work the funnel down to that. The first word that you came up on no was knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the knowledge was in educating the client to help them make a decision. So it was in part in the knowledge. You identified that to get where you wanted the client to be, the first thing you needed to do was help them with their knowledge, their education in making the right decision. Correct. A lot of people don't identify that as the first step in actual getting the close. Well, in everything we do, so let's back up a little. In any marketing, right? Hook, knowledge, right? Education, whatever you want to call it. And then, then call to action. It's no different than when you're selling. You're doing the same thing. You have to get, you have to talk to them, give them a hook, and then you give them the education and then you get them to do the call to action, whatever that is. And that's kind of how I look at it. Everybody looks at it differently, but I think it's very important to get them the knowledge they need because we're all about education. You got to educate the client in order for them to make a decision, right? If you can't educate them, and a lot of people are afraid of objections. I think we talked about this before and, uh, you know, objections, the, the salesman's fear of objections. Well, that's, you have to have objections in order to sell. You have to, they're just, you, otherwise you're just talking to yourself. So now, Joe.